Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Resident Evil Revelations 2, Episode 1. I'm not sure if I'll be playing the rest of the episodes, but we'll see how this one goes, because this game has pretty much pissed me off. Capcom was very dishonest about one thing that I was very excited about with this game, and that was co-op. Uh, up until the day of release, the Steam page for this game said that it would feature co-op. Um, on the day of release, however, it has been revealed that it is single player only. There is not even offline co-op. I don't know what to say, honestly. Uh, pack onto that the fact that it's an episodic game, which I don't really understand why. Uh, why isn't it just another big budget Resident Evil game like we've been seeing the past several years? Don't know. No idea. Uh, and it's filled with microtransactions. Uh, it's all not looking very good. And... You know, I'm gonna go in with an open mind, because it does feature two characters that we haven't seen in a while, Barry Burton and Claire Redfield, and I'm excited to see what they do with that, but... Just, it's not off to a good start. Resident Evil. Alright, I just had to get that out there first, I had to rant about it real quick. But now I'm done, and we can get into the game. The game has an autosave feature, thank you. Did it say, please do not turn off your console? I think it did. Playing this on PC. Okay. Uh, now I did start the game briefly just to do an audio test. Uh, I guess... Can we just start a new game? Do I have to select an episode? Yeah. Alright, so this is episode one, Penal Colony. Get all your jokes out. Get them out now. Penal Colony. Bioterror. The world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered, misused with tragic results. And who are you supposed to trust? Politicians who sell their souls for a few votes. CEOs who betray consumers for a quick buck. Count on us instead. We're above the politics. Always watching. Always ready to face the threat head on. We are the unflinching mop that sops up the evils of bioterrorism and chemical warfare. They call us Terra Save. Because tear doesn't have to end with a wrist. Oh my god, really? Hey guys. That feel. Oh hi, Claire. Hey! Hey Claire! Moira, welcome to the club. Uh, reporting for duty, Ms. Redfield. When do the hazing start? <sighs> Cut it out. We've been friends for how long? Long enough that I'm allowed to give you shit. Psst. Claire, could you, uh... What's up, Neil? Something's going down in Washington. Did you hear anything? What, the new virus? Come on. You know Tricella's history, right? Hello? Hey, that Barry Burton's girl? Yep, Moira started today. What? But you've got to be careful if you're going to mention her. Her and her dad? Oh, yeah. Emotional minefield. <laughs> okay. You did your homework. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey, I gotta look out for TerraSafe. We have our enemies. Anyway, good luck breaking her in. <sighs> She's not a horse. Bye. <sighs> Uh-oh. what do he do this time? <sighs> Fucking Barry. Every time I ask him anything, he pushes back. I wouldn't even be here if I listened to...
that? No, there must be some kind of... Why did it open? All right, we're back. And, uh, okay, this is <laughs> Revelations 2. I've been taken. It's a good question, Claire. Those are some very nice fitting pants you have on. But I guess this continues the trend of, you know, Jill's wetsuit in Revelations 1. Holy crap. All right. I just forgot, I just got finished playing Dread Out, and now this? It's just from one distracting butt to the next. All right, let's uh, continue on. Is that Moira? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, let's run to go get her. Moira, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Claire. Oh, I remember. Hey, hey, take it. I mean, what in a Stop moist talking. barrel of fun is... Oh, Claire, I just want to go home. It's okay. We're gonna get out of here. Yeah, definitely. Uh... We existed. I don't know. So, I guess this is where you would play co-op, right? Ah, this is just making me mad now. Alright, Claire. Yeah, that's right. Open up the... Wow, alright. So messed up. What do you think this place was? What? I, I don't know. There's railroad tracks. Are we in a, like a mine or something? Well, they're not railroad tracks, but they're tracks. Yeah, I don't know. A bunch of hanging bodies hanging from a fan on meat hooks and chains. Seems a little bit impractical and dramatic. Is Wesker behind this? Seems like his style. I like how we don't have any weapons yet, but this is still kind of... <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, like, at least, at least nothing has exploded yet. So we're already off to a, to a promising start. Oh my god, Claire, come on. Are you wearing heels? There's no way. Are you seriously? I can't see. It looks like you're wearing boots, okay. Alright, alright, maybe that's alright. And you're wearing tennis shoes. Okay. Because there's no way we're gonna make it if you're wearing heels. Come on, Moira. I know it's like an infinity drop right there, but just come on. All right, uh, let's go this way. Did you hear that? Uh, there's a lot of blood. Is there someone else in here? There's a lot of blood right here. Oh well. Why is oh my god spelled like that? Oh my god? Okay, so uh things are on the loose. On the other side of the glass. Okay, give me a second to look around, Claire. What is the rush? Alright, so we got these little cars. You know, this looks like a ride, actually, not not a mine, so are we at like an amusement park? Somewhere in the bowels of the I mean, look at this. This look. Look at the there's, the. there's the. There's the chain, and I just stuttered a lot. I just think it looks kind of amusement park-ish. This could come in handy. Guess I'm on light duty. Oh man, this would be so cool. Co-op. All right, that's the last time I'm gonna mention it. I promise. Wow, you don't have to aim or anything. You just right trigger. She's really good with that. 
All right. Um. So, are we gonna use this to break the glass window? You can't be serious. I think I think she might be serious. Wow. Okay, you 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 hit it with the butt of the knife. That makes sense. Handgun ammo. I don't have any hand. I don't have a handgun. Rules for monitoring test subjects. Those participating in the experiments must observe the following rules. The subjects must be monitored 24 hours a day. Monitor the sensor for any changes. Log its status every 10 minutes. Dispose of any subjects showing signs of abnormality immediately. Looks like Terra save wasn't so honest after all. All right. There's been absolutely no benefit to exploring so far. Oh my god, this feels very evil within. I think we can squeeze under this. Give me a hand, Moira. Go! Stand back. What are you doing? Oh. Get him. I mean, I like how they start you off with a knife only. It's a nice touch. You're not fooling me, though. Not fooling me one bit. What the fuck? Soon we'll be seeing exploding helicopters and... You know. Bullet spraying armies of... Guys decked out in, like... Riot gear. It's gonna be great. Oh, I wanna see back there, though. Can you come through? Moira. I want to get back there. Mmm. Can you pull it back? Can I pull it? You're the worst. Alright, whatever. I guess we just won't go back there. Because that's perfect. Get him! What? No, it's not. Not if I have anything to say about it. Hurry. Let's go get her, I guess. Well, let's look around for a gun. Maybe there's one just lying around here. I doubt we're on a timer or anything. Oh. Anything? Cool. Let's open these. Um, alright, that one doesn't open because it's bent, so it's impossible to open ones that are bent. Wish I could see. Hey, where's my light, Myra? Moira? Let's go get him. The fuck is he? Okay. No turn back now. I'm sorry, Gina. She's with Terra Save. Why would anyone do this? Like all companies in Resident Evil, Terra Save is uh out there. This must be the way out. Then we need to find a way through. Experiment block key. Is there any way to like check out a map? Nope. I just pressed all the buttons. 
kind of whack job would... Ugh, this is not here. Hold oh, steady. Uh, okay. Almost got it. No! Well, that blows. Recover the key. All right. Can a sister get a gun somewhere? Come on! What's a girl gotta do to get a gun? Thanks, I guess. It's not a gun, but I'll take it. I bet that's I bet that cop has a gun on him as well as the keys. That security guard, whatever. Sapphire. Mm-hmm. Where is this guy? Of course he's gonna be down here. All right, let's go. All right, we made it. He's over there. Do I have to shoot that? Ugh, this place reeks. You probably shouldn't come down with me, Moira. All right, well, it's too late now. Shit, what's that? Shut up, Moira. I'm, I'm getting stuff done. He's gone. Did it fall off? Do you, uh, are you gonna use that? It's more reliable than any person. If you say so. <laughs> Claire has trust issues, you see. The key must have shook loose when the body fell. It could be anywhere. It's too dark to see. Shine the light around. Why switch characters? Oh, cool! It's got like this Resident Evil Zero type of thing. I like it. Give me a break. Where could it be? I mean, like, did they go all the way over here, you know? Snag on something on the way down? That's what I thought happened. Claire, I see the key. It's out of reach. Let me try shooting it down. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I guess I have to do everything for these people. That gunshot won't attract anything. What? Oh! Watch out! Come here. Did I get him? What's back here? Stuff? I'll take the stuff. Forget about it. Just run. Run, run. Oh! Oh! Oops! I switched! I didn't mean to switch! I, I pressed Y instead of X! Alright, let's, uh, let's go! Come on, Moira. Oh, you've already- I see you've already started running! Good! You go ahead. I will go with you. Are you st- are you hurt? Are you- Okay, I thought I heard you cry out. Let's move. Come on. Double back and try the key. Run, 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 run. Go. Okay, where is it? Oh, B is evade? Is this... Ooh, there's some stuff in here. This is bullshit, dude. Okay, come on, Moira. Well. I guess I have more... More than enough... Uh, 
handgun bullets to actually take these guys out. Interesting that th this is like the first Resident Evil game that I've played where they the enemies don't leave stuff when they die. Huh. Come here, bud. Yeah, nice try. What what were you doing in here? Nothing productive, it's it would seem. Moira, I need the light, please. I'm sure as hell not switching to you. Not until you get a gun. Anything in here? I don't see anything. Alright, Moira. Come on. That's what I thought. Stop dead in your tracks. Where's that room? Uh, that door that we're supposed to use that key on? Is it really this far back? Oh, it is. Where are they? Where are you okay? I hear stuff. I mean, it's, it's this, isn't it? We got a shotgun already, people. I am happy. Alright. I mean, this is alright so far. I'm not... Wow, this is the exact same box from RE6. You need a gun too, Moira. No, I really, really don't. Sorry, I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Come on, hippie. It's a zombie apocalypse. I forgot. Maybe we can find you something else. Like what? Is no, she just gonna I'll be just on? Be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. What? It just like forced me into. To Moira's perspective. I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit it with the flashlight. Well, so now we can see it. Oh, it's some topaz. Nice. Blunt weapon. I can do blunt weapons. Can you? Okay, she can stun certain en enemies by attacking them from behind. Kind of sucks that like one character has to be guns while the other one's melee, but it's it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, d two different styles, you know. I would probably, uh, if we were playing co-op, I'd probably be melee because that's how I like to roll. But anyway, uh, I think this will wrap up the first part, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Think critically.